Hey guys, uh, xin chào các bạn. Hola amigos y amigas. In today's video, I'm going to explain step by step on how to uh, solve Elephant JavaScript's Chapter 2 Program Structure Exercise 1 uh, Looping a Triangle. Viewer your discretion, there are various ways on how you can solve a coding problem, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm going to cover the ones that I enjoyed, uh, which are ones that I found uh, easy to read, easy to follow, and easy to understand. Uh, they're not necessarily uh, the most sophisticated solutions, aka the ones that the computer would find the most efficient. So I'm going to cover two solutions. The first will be using a for loop, and then the second solution will be using a while loop. Uh, so our problem, or the task at hand, is we want to output the following triangle. Uh, it'll be composed of seven rows of hashtags, and it'll start with one. It'll start with one hashtag, and then for each uh, sequential row, the hashtag will increase by one. We're going to start with uh, the first method, which is using the for loop. This is the solution that is provided by the textbook. Um, so I'm gonna first uh, just write out the solution, and then I will explain and break down the solution afterwards. Uh, so in my previous free code camp videos, people uh, mentioned in the comments that they preferred that I did uh, do it uh, slowly, like type out the code. So this might this video will obviously take longer. Um, if uh, you guys find the pace to be too slow, feel free to skip certain parts or use that YouTube function uh, to uh, increase the speed of the video if you find that things are just going too slow. So uh, based on the feedback that I got, I will be uh, typing the code out uh, letter by letter. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so bear with me. So starting with the first um, solution. Oh, sorry. And then also, uh, the code editor that I will be using for this exercise and the next couple exercises and projects will be uh, rep.it. It's free to use and I use it because um, it's easy to access. It was the first one to appear on Google search and uh, it's simple and it works so uh, I've been using it. As a review, you can use slash slash or slash star and then close with star slash to write comments in your code where uh, the computer will, will ignore these comments. It's uh, used for your own purposes to kind of keep track of things uh, as well as to help interpret or kind of like remind you of what certain scripts does. It's also easy for someone who reviews or uh, someone who reads your code to know what's going on. So you'll find me often using these. Um, so slash slash uh, method one. For loop. So the first solution is the one provided by the textbook. I'm going to write it out first and then I will break it down and then I will explain and break it down after. So it'll be four and then bracket let triangle equals to quotation hashtag uh, quotation and then semicolon triangle dot length uh, less or equal to seven semicolon, triangle, plus, equal to quotation, hashtag. And then close with a bracket. Uh, so, that's right. So I will explain the code now. So let me just uh, slash star and then uh, close with star slash. So it's good habit and it's good practice to always uh, when you do start uh, an expression or a statement, to also close it so that you don't forget. Most often, uh, errors in your code are because you forgot to close your uh, expression or statement. So it's it's good practice to <laughs> close it. Even even it's good practice to close it even before you write any content. Okay. Um, so let's first kind of explain the syntax for four. So four will comprise of three. Um, kind of portions to it. So the first portion is the starting value. Uh, our, start, our starting value in this case is one uh, hashtag. And then the second portion of the syntax is uh, the condition um, the condition for the loop to stop. So condition to stop looping, semicolon. And then the last and the third portion of the syntax 
is the adjustment per iteration, like what you want it to occur as it keeps looping until it finally stops. So adjustment per iteration. Um, so in this for looping function, essentially let triangle, we set a variable called triangle uh, equals to uh, a string, quotation, hashtag, quotation. And then uh, we want, so in the second portion, we reference the same triangle and then we added uh, another function called dot length which will count how many digits there are. Here, let me write this down. Uh, dot length will count how many digits, um, let's see characters, let's use characters. How many characters there are in that string, in that string, in that string. So because, and the reason for this is because the uh, reason we use uh, dot length, reason we use dot length. So the reason we use dot length is because um, hashtag is not a number and we, we cannot, um, so right now quotation, hashtag quotation is a string, right? So we cannot directly compare um, quotation, hashtag quotation to a number, which is seven. Uh, seven is a number and we're for the second portion of the syntax we're essentially we want to compare it to seven because we want to create seven iterations or essentially seven rows uh, of the hashtag right so uh, in this case our desired number is seven and we want to compare apples to apples not apples to oranges and because currently uh, quotation hashtag quotation acts like a string therefore we have to utilize the function uh, dot length to convert our string into a number. Uh, then we can compare number against number. So uh, the reason we use length is essentially because right now, or not now, but uh, it will be string equals to number. We don't want this. We don't want this. We want uh, number, oops, we want number uh, compared against number. We want this. We want this. This is good. This is bad. So hopefully that makes sense. So essentially the dot length will uh, allow us to compare a number uh, against number. And then the third portion of the syntax is triangle plus equals to quotation hashtag quotation. This is, so this is the same as writing it out as, um, is the same as, same as triangle, am I saying this right? Triangle equals to triangle plus uh, hashtag. So this is just a shorter uh, version of writing out uh, this statement here, triangle equals to triangle plus hashtag. So this last part of the syntax is essentially just saying uh, for each iteration, we'll add an additional hashtag. So let's uh, summon console.log bracket, and then if we refer back to our uh, variable here, triangle, and then end the statement with semicolon, and then if we run it, it should create, uh, it should create or solve the problem and task that we uh, described. So there'll be seven rows of the hashtags, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for each row, there's uh, an increasing hashtag. And to kind of help visualize and to help uh, kind of show what is happening with the code, I've also kind of demonstrated it on Excel. So here is our code from uh, rep. And then I've just 
kind of broke it down. So uh, on this column B is our iterations. Uh, column C is uh, the value of the starting iteration. And then column D is the second part of the syntax, triangle.length. Column E is the condition for the loop. So if it's less or equal to seven, then if it if it's less or equal to seven, then yes, we will continue uh, looping. And then column F is the, our adjustment per iteration, which is the third part of the uh, four uh, syntax. And then uh, column G just shows um, after that iteration the result of the adjustment. So in our first iteration, as you can see, we have uh, the starting value hashtag, which is here. So that triangle equals to quotation hashtag quotation. So this is just our starting value. Uh, once we added dot length to our variable called triangle, uh, it converts that hashtag into a number. So it counts how many hashtags there are. So in this case, one hashtag, this converts it to a number one. And then we go, we move on towards the condition, is it less or equal to seven? Yes, it is less than equal, it is less than seven. So yes, we will continue the loop. And then, uh, in, so in the third part of the syntax, uh, we make the adjustment. So our variable called triangle uh, will add an additional hashtag. So our initial, so our triangle over here, which had one hashtag, hashtag plus hashtag will equal to two hashtags. And then we move on to our second iteration. So now our starting, um, our starting value will be two hashtags, which was the ending result of the first iteration. So starting with two hashtags, uh, repeating the same process, uh, dot length will convert these two hashtags into the number two. And then we'll move on to the condition. Yes, it is less than seven. Yes, so then we'll continue the loop. And then uh, again, our variable triangle, which had two hashtags, which was over here, uh, will add an additional hashtag because of our instruction up here, triangle plus an additional hashtag. Now that the adjusted triangle or the ending result of that iteration will be three hashtags. And then, AK, and then uh, etc. We will just continue the iterations and repeat that process until eventually we hit the seventh iteration, where we start with um, sorry, we hit we start with seven hashtags. So then this converts. So dot length will convert the seven hashtags into seven. And because now we've met the condition, it stops looping. Uh, uh, seven is equal to seven. Let's move on to uh, the second method. So the second method we will be using the while uh, looping function. So let's write that down. Method two, uh, while. Okay. So for this, so for this one, we will outside because the while loop is essentially uh, the syntax for it is while and then condition and then do this until the condition is satisfied, right? So we have to set our variable outside of the while uh, function. It's not like the for, it's not like the for function where the, the variable is inside the syntax. So what we're gonna do is create the variable outside first. Uh, so let triangle, we'll call this triangle two. Well, it's not really a triangle, it's, it's a hashtag. I should probably use hashtag, so let um, hashtag <laughs> equals to um, quotation hashtag quotation uh, oops, quotation hashtag quotation which is uh, a string right and then semicolon to close that line and now we can start writing our while, while loop so while bracket try, uh, hashtag so referring back to our variable uh, that we just wrote, hashtag dot, and then length is less than seven, and then bracket, and then a, um, array bracket. So while, 
so while hashtag dot length is less than seven, then we will perform this, right? So we want it to perform console.log uh, hashtag. So we want it to print the variable hashtag uh, semicolon and also, so hashtag uh, equals to hashtag plus um, quotation um, hashtag quotation and then semicolon. So here, okay, uh, let me just test it. Console.log uh, bracket hashtag uh, and then close, close with semicolon. Let's run it. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Uh, okay, so just to summarize it, so we first, for method two, the using the while loop, because the while syntax essentially is just while and then condition. And then the next part of it is to do this until the condition is met. What we did first is we created a variable called hashtag, which is our starting value uh, quotation, hashtag quotation. So this is like the first part of, of this pyramid looking thing, right? <laughs> so, so while, so then, so then now we can start writing our while function, so while, and then condition, so we refer back to our variable up here, hashtag dot length. So essentially dot length will convert uh, this variable into a number, because right now it's a string, right? Hashtag dot length, less than seven, we want at least seven hashtags on the seventh row. Uh, so this while function will keep looping until there are seven um, until there are seven, what do you call it? Hashtags. So there are seven hashtags. So uh, that's the condition for it to keep looping. And then, uh, it, so array, and then in between the array is what we wanted to do. Uh, so console.log, and then referring back to our variable hashtag, this will print. Um, and then on the second line, hashtag equals to hashtag plus quotation, hashtag, quotation. This will, so for each iteration, uh, it will add an additional hashtag in that iteration. So uh, earlier I kind of showed you guys the Excel of how that works. So you can rewind the video and, and look back at that Excel. But essentially this uh, performs uh, the same as what we did up here. I will provide you guys the links to uh, the problem and the link to uh, the solution that we just solved in this video uh, for your reference in the video description below. So this brings me to the end of the video. Um, this video did take time and effort to create, so if you guys found it useful, uh, I would definitely appreciate if you could give it a like. And if there is something that you did not like or did like, uh, let me know in the comments below so I can make adjustments accordingly uh, for future videos. And if you want, if you do want to tune in for uh, future videos that you might find useful, feel free to subscribe. Uh, thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.